Meyer last season joined the ranks of Steve Spurrier with a national title, but a win on Saturday, and the two would once again be linked in the record books. Hey, how are you, folks? Jason Horowitz with you on the SEC College Football Preview Show presented by Geico. And SEC is back on CBS for another year, and per usual, it all starts with Tennessee and Florida. Now, I mentioned the two coaches. The Gators have won nine straight games with Urban Meyer. A win against Tennessee Saturday would mark the first time the team took 10 straight overall since the 96 national champions. And for more on that, we bring in Spencer Tillman from Houston, as we do every week, and it's the most articulate man on television. We're looking forward to <laughs> seeing that and hearing that on Saturday. But, Spence, you know, Tennessee, Florida, one of the things you guys will certainly be breaking down this weekend is the quarterback play. Who have you been more impressed with so far in 2007, Eric Ainge or Tim Tebow? Jason, I've been impressed with both quarterbacks. You can look at uh, Eric Ainge and see that David Cutcliffe, the offensive coordinator for Tennessee, has done a brilliant job. Uh, you can erase the fact that they lost to Cal in terms of his performance. He was sound. He made quality decisions. It was just their defense that wasn't able to stop a very prolific offense. And then on the other side of the ledger, Tim Tebow. We knew in the dual quarterback situation a year ago that he could run the football in that spread attack. But I've been impressed with his passing ability. He's got that opposite rotation with that southpaw delivery, but more importantly, the guy is accurate. He's big, he can run, and he can throw. Uh, he's impressed me. But, but he hasn't had to face, at least in this season, uh, the type Granted. of competition that Eric Ainge has had because Florida has taken on Western Kentucky and Troy. But he also has a problem this weekend in the fact that he's missing his go-to receiver, Andre Caldwell. He's going to miss the game with a sprained MCL. How big of a factor is it? Well, it is a factor, but, but they have so much depth. And despite the fact that they have a lot of youth offensively, I think they've got at least seven receivers that can come on the field. Maybe not the caliber of an Andre Caldwell, but they do have talent and they can catch. Uh, this offense has a lot of latitude. You don't have to run precise routes in this. It's about getting to a zone, sitting it down in it. That's part of the spread formation concept offensively. So I think that Tim Tebow is still going to have a plethora of receivers to run, to throw the ball to. And I think at the end of the day, that's going to spell success offensively for the Gators. Well, that offense also now may have a good impact on Cornelius Ingram, who, who could sit down there and mm -hmm. find him spot, his, his sell some spots uh, open in that Tennessee defense. Let's talk about that Tennessee defense because it hasn't been very good this season. Uh, against mm -hmm. Cal and Southern Miss, really struggled for the most part. Came on in the second half against Southern Miss, but similar to the struggles they had last year. Uh, they're, they're, they lost the starting corner. Antonio Gaines will not mm -hmm. be playing for the rest of the season, so they're going to start a freshman in Eric Berry. Are they in trouble here? Well, they are. Anytime you get a corner, a cover corner out there that really is young, you're going to take some shots at him. And I suspect that Urban Meyer will definitely do that, and Tim Tebow will be able to exploit it. But that's a wash. When you look at Caldwell out for Florida, you look at um, Gaines out for Tennessee, their top cover corner, that's a wash in my opinion. So then you turn to the depth to see who's going to emerge victorious. And for me, I think this game is going to be a track meet offensively, and I think it's going to be one that's going to be one in the swamp by the Florida Gators, the home team. So at the end of the day, look for Tim Tebow to continue to to make it three straight against the Tennessee Volunteers with that prolific passing attack. Right, you talk about the track meet. The Gators have scored 108 points in the first two games, uh, and Tennessee has given up a lot of points as well. So we'll see how that goes. Spencer, we will see you on CBS this weekend to break it all down, and we are looking forward to it. All right, Jason, we'll see you, my man. Folks, the Gators, as Spencer mentioned, have won the last two against Tennessee, and they're looking to win three straight. They haven't done that since it was Peyton Manning leading the Volunteers. The game, 3.30 on CBS. And for more on the biggest weekend SEC showdown or any other in College Football Week 3, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. For Spencer Tillman, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care.